What is up? They seem to like the uh, mechanic videos I put up. I didn't think of uh, putting out the camera when I started this, but I'm going to be installing some injectors. Um, I'm going to remove the stock 19-pound injectors and put in some 30-pound injectors. Refurbished ones are not new. Remember, this is a low-buck uh, turbo Mustang project. So, still a ways away from putting the turbo on it, but uh, this is just another step is changing the injectors. And then uh, the next thing will be the math sensor, mass airflow, which that'll be easy pretty much. And then it'll be ready for the turbo. We've already got the tuner and everything. So hopefully this is picking everything up. I can crop in if I have to. But right now, I just got the throttle body out of the way. And it's pretty much just so far we just take up the hose. From the master, from the broad body, the rental, the broad body. Sit out of the way and unplug the injector harness. And then I just, you know, this is something I always want to do. Blow out the round injector. Same thing for changing the spark plugs when you pull the boots off and blow it. Which I pretty much already did. That way, uh, nothing falls down into the cylinders when you uh, pull out the injector. This case should be able to use the trusty electric one back. Stock style, old fat body. Come on, focus camera. Fat body style, real popular, you know. So this is 19 pound ejector. 30 is what I'm putting in. So I gotta go inside and go grab those. All right, here it is. These are used, so they look like used, but they've been uh, with the ultrasonic, you know, cleaning method. So, and I think these have been flow tested too. So, they're, they should be good. But, um, people who throw a lot of money into their cars, you know, you know, and buy fancy stuff, they'll scoff using used injectors. But the theme of this project, like my other projects, is low buck. It's like I had a Saturn project on another YouTube channel that's I did a long time ago and <laughs> got bored of it anyway. Low buck is cool. I mean, this would be like the third or fourth turbo project we've done and uh, pretty much so far we've, we've done it within the thousand dollar area which is pretty unheard of to most people but you know that was uh, doing tricks and stuff and not really tuning. I've already got I'll have close to a thousand in this uh, about seven eight hundred into it by the time I get the uh, even before I put the turbo on so this one's gonna be a little higher net still gonna be low but it's not expensive because I'm using a quarter horse tuner interface from moats which gives me full access to the computer and then uh, the wide band O2 the software binary editor it's just these kind of cars you know they have some very powerful software available so and in fact when I put these in I'll show it to you I'm just gonna change two settings and this thing's gonna run uh, on the 30 pound injectors they're like 1.58 something like that times more fuel volume than the stock one so you got to compensate for that and it's real easy to change that uh, if you do with the tuning software but uh, uh, people that don't that do it the easy way but it's not very good way but it's pretty popular is they buy a match set of like larger injectors with a mass airflow that's been compensated and it just tricks the computer to reading less air than it really is and that'll make smaller pulse widths that's how some people do some mild turbo or supercharger applications to get the larger mass airflow and the bigger injectors but uh, but it, your engine thinks it's bringing in less air than it, than it really is and if you have an automatic transmission or something like that it really messes it up it's just not the way to go. So, with the tuning software, your your engine, the computer still knows reality. So, go ahead and put these in. Oh yeah! By the way, see that right there? That's one of those uh, carpet drying type of fans, you know, with, with a handle on it. I uh, scored that from work. <laughs> 
uh, it was beat up to hell, motor was broke, switch has been rigged, so, but nice, because it's plastic housing with a handle, so. I put an ECM motor in there, variable speed, you know, blower motor, and uh, set it up for 115 volt, uh, put the jumper on there for 50% uh, blower speed, and I got two misters on there, and it's blowing a nice, cool air right where I'm working here, so just had to show that. Oh, yeah. Somebody was jokingly saying product placement. My older ball joint videos where I had a Coke and I took a sip out of the Coke. This video is brought to you by Sierra Mist Naturals. It's not really sponsoring the video. Just enough to wipe it around my finger. I'm gonna do that. Four of them here. Just get my finger wet with oil. And I just wipe it around those o rings. See a little shiny now. So they'll keep, so as soon as they know that hits two years, bam. You see this car, and they put shiny, shiny right in front of you, and then you want that out of the car, and then you buy it. You're dumb. No, I'm just telling you, it's the way that the dealers get you to keep going back. Oh, I didn't buy anything, did we? Oh, I said. No, it's not, haven't had it two years. You can't get out of that one. Okay, you know, don't be putting this away. This poor is my banger master. Nissan doesn't get any better miles than this. And by the way, I use my computer on the drive home and just drive a normal from 67th and Olive. And this got 22 miles per gallon average. Yeah, right. It did. I told you, these get like 25, 26 on the highway if you just put it in fifth gear and go. Well, I don't drive Don's like that to work. These, these engines so are. So, what would that. I get in this taking this to work every day? Well, if you, had to, you keep 16? using a clutch every couple seconds, it's probably, you know, average like 14, 15. This is much easier. And this extension is cool, it's a built in wall. It's a shape, cone shape. So it's a ball, so the, your fitting so it snaps on, it stays on. But look, look at that. So if you have to go in a slight angle. Yep, that broke it. Exact thing I'm gonna try not to do. I do have some new hose, so I'm not worried about it. I'm expecting this, this old plastic hose to break. That was actually part of the plan. I've never done this one. Seems to be a little standard. Once again, 